Up in Popham, the Virginia Company of Plymouth attempted to colonize Maine back in 1607. In more recent times, Virginia has claimed to be, quote, for lovers. But here's a made in Maine, old-fashioned boy meets girl story with a twist you won't forget, as lived and shared by Lee Chisholm. A place in Maine that means a great deal to me is Casco Bay because it has much to do with the woman I love. When I was 16, both before and after the age of 16, we would summer uh, in Mere Point off of Brunswick. And I had an outboard motorboat. I was fortunate enough to be able to take that boat out to the islands of Casco Bay. And in that 16th summer, I remember once motoring to Whaleboat Island on a beautiful, sunny summer afternoon in July. The clouds were puffy and cumulus. The shore of Whaleboat was full of wild island roses in bloom and blackberries and the, the sound of the middling tide on the stones. And I remember getting out of the boat and relaxing in the grass and having a strange thought for a 16-year-old. I said to myself, what a place to be married. Now, it's not as though uh, I thought about marriage daily or weekly or monthly or for that matter in any way at all. But I had that thought and then I forgot the thought until about five years later, five, six years later, when I was living in Cambridge, at that time I'd become a, a college dropout. This was uh, right around 1970. And I'd gotten a place off campus and was coming down into the kitchen to get a cup of coffee and had to pass through the living room of my landlady's house. And there was the most stunningly beautiful girl I'd ever seen. And Dottie, my landlady, introduced us. We am so glad I've wanted you two to meet. You know, sit down. And we, we began to talk. And the air was electric between us. The kind of unspoken joyfulness was so substantial you could almost pull it like taffy. The time passed quickly. I'd already made up my mind that I wanted to see her again, but I had work to do upstairs and as I began to excuse myself I realized well I could maybe give her a ride back to her apartment and she said yes fine so we got into my car and drove across the city and as we drove we passed the the common the Cambridge common and a church had had let out uh, people who'd been celebrating a wedding and just making conversation after we commented on the wedding. After all, I'd known her for an hour or two. This was just making casual conversation. I asked her because I suddenly knew the answer. I had rethought the thought for the first time in five or six years. If you could be married anywhere in the world, where would you like your wedding to be? As my answer waited on my lips, I listened for hers, not thinking anything of it. And she said, on an island. And that took me a little aback, and I said, on an island? <laughs> really? Not yet telling her that that was my answer, too. Where? And she said, well, in a place in Maine called Casco Bay. Whereupon? feeling already about this girl the way I felt. Uh, my inward jaw dropped. I didn't have the courage to let her know that that was uh, my very answer and how all of that had come about. I simply said, oh, why, that's really cool. And it was only later that I told her. We went back to her apartment. We looked at pictures of Maine on a calendar. 
Months later, after her father died and she'd left Cambridge for a while, she came back and we moved in together. And two years after that, we were married. And three or four years, all told from meeting her, we moved to Maine. And we lived near Casco Bay. And we worked near Casco Bay. And we raised three sons who grew up on Casco Bay and personally came to love the islands and go out to the islands the way I had. So I'm not sure if this story has a moral, but thoughts are often more than one would think.